Alright, so part two of these Life Free Honor Among Thieves series. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Part two. So we finished basically um, basically the intro and we finished the first episode. And we haven't done any of the challenges, so yeah, we haven't done the challenges of this level. So we might leave this for a future sh uh, uh, video. But yeah, we can do the uh, hazard room challenges, so that way we can do stuff for Murray and Benly and all those stuff. And I asked GB if he could help me with to, to player mode so you guys can see what it's all about. And he said yes, so that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, let's do some hazard room just so we can get some dialogue in and then we'll just go to Rumble Down Under. Alright, so in this one... Yeah, we have more stuff for Sly and one for Bentley, so... Let's see what Bentley has to say. Alright, Bentley. Let me have it. Uh, in order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear ya. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. Well, that's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. So yeah, basically he sells the, the thing online still, but you get the money immediately instead of you having to sell it yourself. Which is actually a good thing because convenience. Okay, that's enough of that guy. Can <laughs> you kill him? It won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. <laughs> Price. Great way. He's Great. just murdering people now, just like that. He doesn't even goes, care. A job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe to toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm going to have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. Oh! Yeah, should be guards don't scream. Where'd he go? Exactly. Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Spread by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. Go, 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 go. Right. Go, go, they don't see me. They're blind. They're dead. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you can sneak up behind them. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind them and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So, that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. Yeah, I just love the dialogue in these switches. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. And that's nice what you I pity the guard that crosses your path. 
Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above that poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. <laughs> Look for those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's uh... That's some deviousness. Alright, so let's see what else he has. Unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocucop with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Yep. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Yeah, there you go. One. We'll just wait for him. He's gonna pop in here anyways. There. There you go, Bentley. Okay. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No. But you showed some real skill with a Monocucop's camera. Nice work. Just gotta love the, 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 the talking they give to each other sometimes. Alright, so now let's play as Bentley. Alright, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Let's see what you got. I wonder if one bomb does it. Yeah, we're here. So it's a one shark. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. 
In fact, I even linked it to my Binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Nice. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. He's dead. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. There you go. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. The PPP. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Price. Okay, he served his purpose. I love that they just I'm get with with technology, technology. But how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. Alright, and... Here we go. Now kill him. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. All right. So yeah, that's supposed to take place in between episode, you know, in between uh, episode three. I mean, episode one, but we basically did it, so. Alright, so let's go into Australia. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. There's a picture of Carmelia on the wall. We learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. The only thing that so, kind of blows is that besides Carmelita, I mean besides the uh, guru here, for the Australian there's really, outbound. this is just kind of like a filler chapter. It's not really the best chapter ever. Along the way, Murray told us story after story References. about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the Outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the Guru was nowhere to be seen. So we had to rescue him. He's gonna rumble down under. But yeah, the villain in this chapter kind of blows. The only good thing about this chapter is Again, character interaction. It's just that to, for continuities, for to continue in the plot, like you could skip this chapter and nothing would happen besides getting the guru. I mean, there are some good missions in this chapter. It's just, you know, for stories, it's just eh.
we go. New training for Murray. I already know how to play as Murray. But we'll play with him later in the hazard room, so... No, not right now. So let's see what we have here. Spin attack level 2. Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll buy the rest later. Like, if you really want to grind for coins, you guys have to wait until, like, the last chapter to really grind for good coins. Because it takes forever. I have really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Alright, and there's also a crocodile back there. Oh, blue, blue. Kangaroo. And his baby. And a bronze ring. Boo. Use her death for that. Okay, so basically what we unlocked was instead of, you know, doing this and doing this, now we can charge it up to level two. One, two. And then bam. You can do it for longer. But yeah, this is still level one, so it's not gonna do much. And we haven't even unlocked the uh, jump one still. We gotta search for the guru, so we gotta do that. Uh, no! Okay, I actually want to make it. God damn it. Go, 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 go. Stop. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, that's weird. Oh. Yeah, we'll escape him. There we go. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable, Sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. The unspeakable. Imagine how bad it must have been. Keep running. It's just the way that he said it makes it sound so dramatic. What do you do? The unspeakable. This place is packed with wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Yeah, it's so hard so good, but the water's all green and ew. You know. Touch that and you'll need a shower. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. By the looks of it, I'd say the guru is finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Alright, so let's go. Go for here. Okay, here we have to be careful with this uh, drill. Yeah, he died. Not a very fun idea to fall in there. These miners have no respect for the 
Aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon, Wave Rock. The cultural insensitivity is sickening. Made it. Alright. So, uh, yeah, Guru's down there. There he is. You must be the Guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Yeah, I don't know how Sly and... Basically, I don't know how anybody understands him. I don't know what he's saying. It's probably gibberish, but... Yeah, he even has no subtitles, so it's probably gibberish. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayers Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. The villain. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. <laughs> yeah, so to reference the Tango web in that picture. Okay, a back operation. So we have, uh, oh, no, wrong thing. Dark caves and spelunking. I think that's it. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. So basically, these are the same missions, just with different characters. So we're gonna do dark caves first. So we can acquire the staff and moonstone. So to get up here, we have to go here. Go dead. Jumping. Alright, we'll go. There we go, we made it, and mission. After capturing the guru, the Thingos confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stash the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. I don't know how, but I mean, like, uh, like that place you can barely see any guards. Like, it's, like, how the hell do you even get into position in the first place? I guess with gear, but... Those caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. No, I'm not wearing 3D glasses. No. That's also an option. You can wear 3D glasses in here. But, I mean, they removed that feature, so good. If they're here, the Guru's items would be stashed at the far end of this cave. Yeah, one thing I really do hate about Slide 3 is that all these interiors, once you pass these missions, you cannot enter it. So if like you want to just explore free mode and just come back to these interiors, you cannot. Which kind of blows. Oh uh, yeah, but see like all these positions, how the hell do they even get in here? I guess with some gear or something, but that's it. Bye-bye. Alright, we gotta get up here. 
Oh. Come on, I press circle. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I'll press circle right here. Come on. There you go. I don't know what was going on. I was pressing circle. Oh, tracker. Trash. What the hell is this? A bronze pen. I'm not into tearing up the environment or anything, but these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven. Well, alright, so here's the uh, stone right here. I did it. It's basically like in GT Online. It's basically works the same way. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trap the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. That is oddly specific. I don't know how Sly knew that. Oh god. Ooh. I'm pressing circle, god damn it. Come on, slime. Circle. There we go. Okay, these are all trapped now. First stuff. We're out of here. Alright, so we're fine with this moonstone as long as I don't give it to a Jigglypuff. If you guys know Pokemon, you guys know. I was just trying to reference something, but okay, let's go. Now, ah, there we go. Okay, so how do I get up there? I know there's like a way. Get out of the way. Stop throwing that smoke everywhere. It's annoying. How do I get up there? Uh, I'll figure it out. Has to be a place here. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, there we go, right here. Uh, yes, okay, good. You're dead. Thank you. Yeah, don't hit those, or bombs. Alright, so this one we're just gonna try to get the stick. These caves have no ambient light whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. Yeah, you do not want to fall down. <laughs> Yeah, I would be scared shitless to do this. Here we go. Wonder what's so special about this staff? Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. Go, go. Oh god. I can't see anything. 
Jesus, they just murdered me. No, that's the wrong thing. There. Oh my god, stop whipping me. Out of the way. Whoa. Okay. We made it, we made it. Okay, good. That was annoying. So we got his gear, that's good. Alright, so now we got his spelunking. We're just gonna run. I don't care. Done. Run, run. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the safe house and get Murray to the spelunking. Yep, go around. No, you didn't see me, that's BS. wait to show you guys the, the chapter after this one because in my opinion the chapter that's coming up next after this one is one of the best chapters in the series and then the one after the one after that is also really good and then the pirate one is also like really good again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually if it wasn't for the guru I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today just not too sure if he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to it. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Yeah, but the uh, Murray just needs to get his shit together. Thank you.
You can have it. I stole that guy's pockets peacefully. Murray, try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Yeah, that's that's messed up. Just throwing him and just abusing the guards' heads to just drop him on a rock. You know how much that must hurt. Especially when they also have a kid. Look, you can see it. Yay, I just killed somebody and their kid. Or maybe he's just like a tiny worker or something. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I love how you can see them like knocked down and then they open their eyes. Look. Yeah, you see? They're knocked down, then they open their eyes and then they're like, huh? Bye bye. So yeah, when you actually knock them down, they do have their eyes closed. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in! What's the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I can do that! Use your aboriginal ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware! You're about to be bounced! Yeah, this is actually kind of fun. If you don't touch it, as you guys saw, it goes up, so you gotta, you gotta do it repeatedly. There you go, thank you. I appreciate your efforts. And jump. I don't know how these things are still like balanced here, like, who thought of this? Another locked door. To open this one, you'll need to overload all three pistons at the same time. Yeah, this this one is actually kind of easy. It's not that hard, so you gotta do this. One. And just go in between. Almost there. I think they do go up, too. But as long as you keep going back and forth, it should be fine. Yep. Yeah, they are going up. The mass of dark fur right here. Oh, look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mass of dark earth the guru was warning us about. Curious, it seems to make the wearer much larger, probably more aggressive, too. I can take him. My righteous quest to see the guru won't be stopped by some big, stupid freak in a mask. Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! 
That might break the circuit. Give it a try. There you go. This is actually pretty easy. You don't have to mess with this guy that much. Hear me, hear me. Okay, thank you. Keep it up. You did some damage. Ah, uh, come on. Get over here. So let's go talk to the guru. Open up. I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to. I am asking. Oh man. Yeah. I want to join back up with my friends, and, uh, we're hoping you'd come along, too. Babaji? You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise. Ooh, Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you, too. There you go. So now we gotta deal with all these stuff and uh and then we uh we can get Guru. So uh the big truck. This mission's actually kinda cool. Some people don't like it, but I don't like it. There. Oh, no, no, don't fall. There we go. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! So yeah, the big truck. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, Bentley, you've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm gonna get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Burry can begin phase two of my plan. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go kill them. Let's start drilling. Over scorpions. 
Watch your heat meter to make sure they don't melt. And remember, we're only interested in the red soldier scorpions. The blue worker scorpions won't help us scare the miners off. The truck controls are straightforward. Hold the X button to go forward and the square button to drive in reverse. When you're going, you'll need to trap those red scorpions, hurry. Use the R1 button after you the R1. some speed. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit annoying. I'll get used to it, though. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit to get used to. Yeah, don't kill them. Uh, just... You need to trap those red scorpions, hurry. Use the R1 button after you've built up some speed. Here we go! Okay. It just takes a while to get used to. Once I get used to it, it'll be fine. There you go. Looks like more are being driven to the surface. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Yes! You're fine! Yeah, they took that long. That's it! See, now I'm just doing it like a fucking like kickball. Uh -huh. Roll it! Last five reds in the bag. Keep it up. Alright, we gotta capture more reds. Okay, Bentley, I'm on my way. All right, so that's easy. Just grab this. No, no. Yeah, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, be patient, be patient. All it takes is patience to beat this mission. Be patient. No, no police. Okay, don't fall. I thought it would have captured him. Okay, there's one. That's it! 
Nice, just a few more, and Three we'll more. have enough to purify Ayer's Rock. Yeah! Okay, gotta crash, gotta crash. My, my tires are overheating. I love by how clean a miner is, it doesn't mean getting rid of him, it means killing them, so that's kind of dark. We're seeing scorpions to kill people, basically. Okay, so now we are heading to the Unleash the Guru. Oh, this mission is good, I like this mission. So we gotta go to the safe house and uh, get Bentley to do this. No, you don't. There you go. Go, go, go. Go here, go here. Uh, um, you're dead. Can't keep you. Bentley, Bentley, there you are. Yeah, I I forgot one thing about uh, chapter one, which is like what happens if you mess up the code to the to the guards. I did not show that, and I'll show you guys in a future episode if I don't forget, because there are more disguises. It's not only one. It basically happens the same thing. Like if you mess up, uh, basically uh, I don't want to spoil what happens if you mess up, in just in case, just because you might you guys might be curious. But it'll, I'll have more chances to wear more disguises, and you guys will see what happens if I mess up. Rod, or, uh, Bentley. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, they lost me. They don't, don't care anymore. Good. Yeah, so it's a good thing that Murray actually, ooh, that Murray actually uh, knocked that door down and dropped the uh, the trampoline thing because we kind of need that. I'll take that money. And this guy also has stuff too. Gold metal. Yeah, I like that you can steal stuff from these people. I got the medal though. Yeah, it takes like 20 to 30 seconds for them to wake up. But hey, I got the medal. It's all that matters. Hello, dear. Hello, oh guru of the stone. Murray has purified Ayers Rock. And now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh, da, da. Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Ooh, da, da. 
Gadzooks! You can transform yourself! Why, once you change shape, a guard is sure to come inside and investigate! Hey, Mother Hona! Hi, Mama Hona! <laughs> Too true! Wait, here comes a guard! Yeah, basically, this is a guru mission. So now we're playing as a guru. Master, hold down the L1 button to transform. I love it when you do that! But yeah, uh, if you press triangle, circle, or square, he doesn't do anything. He has no attacking, so all he does is hide. But the thing is, you can actually use the car's power-ups. That's how he fights back. You take care of the guards. Where did he go? Master, you're the greatest! That jump's totally full! Ram him into the Yeah, see, you can take him. And if you press square, see, you spam your power up. Which is kind of killing the frame rate, but yeah. Uh, basically, there. You can ram him or just jump him for a circle. Alright, so we'll go over there faster. If I take care of the cards. And this one, this guy whips. So if I want to hit somebody, you guys will see what he does. But yeah, you have to go in between guards to go, so they'll start killing each other. Uh, come on, hit that guy. Whoa. Yeah, they'll start shooting each other. Yeah, see, that's actually kind of cool. Bye bye. Your time oh, yeah, this is just been not your camp. Have you just seen the hire? Uh huh, yeah. Has a song ever by Hina? I hear you, those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. Haven't I did here? Oh yeah, some things never change. What the? Far so good. Now where's the guard? Oh yeah, this guy shoots with his gun. Yeah, you see you can just shoot people with the gun. Get out of the way! Yeah, this is actually this is amazing. I just love your face. Oh. I don't know, I just wanted to look at. Yeah, these guys are hoes. Alright, one more. We're destroying the things peacefully. Oh? <laughs> oh? destroy that little pump on the other side. I forgot the area. Uh, yeah, that thing. Over there. That grinder is tearing up 
wave rock. Have ya shut up? I know it's awful. However, the link's generator is weak, easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Ah, huh. oh, don't I? Peace on So I guess now we're gonna get the uh, the screen shows, slideshows. Yeah, this. The guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the Dingo Miners and deal with the Mask of Dark Earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the Miners' ranks. Murray will feed our foes to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of fighters and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll this mission is amazing. Begging to go home. And finally, this is actually gonna go equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. Yeah, th this one is actually a really good mission. The lemon lemony bar one is amazing. I love that mission. It's like one of the best missions in the entire series. Okay, here we go. We have Lemon Rage, the Claw from, uh, uh, yeah, the Claw, and then the, uh, Hungry Crunk. Which, uh, one thing that's weird that I just thought about is that Miss Ruby in Slide 1 is also a crocodile or an alligator or whatever. And that one's like, actually, you can talk, and this one's just like a pet. Which is actually kind of weird. But, yeah, let's go and play Lemon Rage, which is like the best, one of the best missions. I, I, I think I know the, the beginning of the mission by heart. I think. Alright All right, boys, look, look tough, tough and get, get angry. angry. It's, it's time, time to intimidate, intimidate the locals. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if I can, can do it. it. How, How do you guys, you guys get, get angry? angry? Find, Find a match. Deep, deep inside yourself. Light it. Light it. And let, let the your fire burn up your blood. No, your guts and then your blood. Okay, close enough. Yeah, I pretty much do the same okay, thing. Okay, kinda. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners, and we'll do whatever it takes. I kinda, I just got the other the, the things, like, in between. Oh well, close enough. But yeah, this mission's amazing. Listen up, dirtbags! Not to clear out! For now, this bar is super gang turf. I think that's what they say. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough, tough, wagger. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, 
Then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Hey, Dinkum. Losers have to clear out. All right, sounds sounds good to me. Let's do the shank. I'm gonna beat you guys fair and square. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> go! Break it down! Yeah, with Sly and Murray, it's fast, but with Benly, it's not so fast because Benly is the smallest one, so it takes forever to Sly. Yeah, Ben Murray's just gonna go quick for this shit. Steady on! You can do it! Focus! Come on, Bentley! Drink! Drink, Bentley! Remember to breathe! Come on, I'm over there. Suck it down. Keep it up, boy. Savor the flavor. We win. That's cheating. Why the turtle spill more than he drank? Around here, there's only one thing we do: is cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beating. <laughs> Nothing says like friendship and bonding like a lemonade bar, uh, bar fight. Nice I'm getting crushed, goddammit. Ah, I died. Oof. Again. Good, we're doing 
great. Here. There we go. You holding up, Murray? What are you doing there? Feeling strong. Behold my powers of destruction. That. Come on. Nice work, big guy. won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Alright, so this one this one's actually not that bad. Pretty easy. Getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. Yeah, but you know, a bar fight, though. We got a drinking challenge and a bar fight. And, like, come on, that's that's really cool. And a little boss fight too. It's like, uh, yeah, the best of all worlds. So these two are gonna go to the safe house. And we 
are gonna go do what is mission? The claw. Oh my claw. Yep, die. No. Oh god. Oh, no. Is that the mask on the coin? Oh yeah, it is the mask. I never noticed that. Because I know they have different icons for the coins depending on where you are. Alright, so here we go. The door I was talking about. I actually like this mission. Some people don't like this mission. I do. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Why yes, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. Poor Mary's not paying attention to the slideshow. It's it's funny because that's my, like my favorite part, like them just talking about their plan. Where'd the sound go? Okay. It's kinda weird. Uh, oh, okay. What happened to the, uh, the audio? It's gone. Uh, game, game? Still moving, so it hasn't crashed yet, but it sometimes does that, where it just gets stuck in the same auto animation. Hello, hello? game? All right, so we are back from the claw mission. Um, yeah, uh, the game crashed. So, uh, yeah, I had to restart. Now, luckily for me, after every mission, the game auto saves. So, uh, yeah, I got lucky. And, yeah, so we can just re retry again. And hopefully the game doesn't crash. So, yeah, let's, let's go back again to it. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Why yes, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't crash again. Last time I also lost the audio as well, but I got it back, so that's good. Sly, okay, good, it's working. Protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? This is easy. You do see quite adept. Yeah, it's the other easy. important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Yeah, it's not that hard. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Yeah. Here they come. Okay, okay. Don't, don't show me weird camera angles. Please don't do that. So this isn't really that hard. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this, this is this should should be pretty easy. Some people complain about this mission because it's just like unnecessary, but I mean I like it. I mean, it if it brings like some new gameplay to the table, I mean I'm open to it. It's not 
like it's extremely boring or something like that. I don't like this. It's a change of pace. It's not like you do it much, like you do it every single mission, it's like once or twice. It's like that one game of claw that is in the arcade and you can never win the prize. But this time I'm actually winning, so yeah. the story is basically a whole flashback story of how we get every single character into the vault, into the uh, Cabral Island heist. One more. 
careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! So much for being extremely careful. Murray is the sample. But don't worry, he'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know why the game crashed last time. It seemed to be going all okay. Good thing for Odyssey. Okay, Hungry Croc. This mission is actually kind of cool. And I think if I'm not mistaken, after this, it should be the operation. After I get these cards blocked. Perfect. Murray, you're up. Time we subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach them to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger, it's feeding time. Yeah, this is actually kind of dark. We're feeding people to crocodiles. At least to the operation, then. You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the mask of dark earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the Gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. 
Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the mask of dark earth is the sworn enemy of the moon spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunderplump off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. There you go. That's the plan. Sounds like a great plan. Let's go for it. So let's see what Sly has for me. Ooh, jump attack one. That one's good. Rocket boots are also really good in this game. <gasps> no, no, no. Wait, paraglide? Oh, yeah. Let's get something for family. There we go. We'll start getting everything over, over time because there's one way to really grind coins in this game that's really good, so. We'll take care of that. Operation Moon Crash. Here we go. Okay, so there's a bit of money, so that's good. So that way we're not poor. There we go. Uh, bronze. Here we go. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I know. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing and it's sure to fall apart. It takes free. Alright, so where is this all the way over there? We gotta find a guard and start ramming people into it. Because what will happen if I get close, it'll just fly off, like he said. You won't fail the mission, but it'll elevate high enough where it won't do anything. So let me just show you guys what happens. So it's refueling right there, but if I get too close to it, see, it just flies off. And it'll just stay up there, and that way I can never hit it, so. Yeah, we have to get away from a distance. So we need to find a guard and take it down while it's refueling. The good thing is that there's no time limit. Alright, so this one's pretty easy. So I think you press um, X to get out. No, wait. A triangle, never mind. There we go. more direct hits like that and that gyrocopter will be history okay so it's triangle my band all right so we should be able to find these guys why are they so spread out Spirit rises. 
Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. Carmelita. We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, a flying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Yeah, but it's, uh... We're gonna have a little problem here. Here I come, master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Yeah. Can't tell uh, I'll move in. We're having problems here. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now that's not nice. And now, we're gonna have to take care of a giant Carmelita. And some people might like that. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleeve darts in Carmelarja here? They will pry off the mask. Yeah, so this isn't actually that hard. We just find her standing still. You can shoot her like twice. There we go. That's one. That's two. Well, sometimes. Sometimes you can get away with doing that. It just depends on the location. Damn it. Stand still. She's in between like a pole. Or... There we go. It doesn't matter, it's worth it just hit or twice. You can think a few shots anyways. Oh, come on. Maybe it's because she's so close. One more time, I think. to kick in or not the chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger whoa you're not kidding Bentley she's getting gigantic everyone head for the big truck we've got to get some distance between her and us she might shrink back down with time she could yeah she's huge How close she is. She can easily grab the truck. But for some reason, she prefers just to chase him. I mean, she, her shrimp probably goes up too.
She's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are we doing that? This is bad. We need a new strategy, and fast. Force just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her. Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we need a giant fighting robot. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. All right, so there's actually something that can happen here. Let me just show you I'm after uh, this cutscene. Okay. Ah, you're in luck. Looks like he's the mask is latched up with only one hook. Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away and knock it off. Alright, so basically, uh, yeah, this is what happens if you if you uh, decide to ignore her and run away. So yeah, she throws that big truck at you and then you die. The truck doesn't land on you though, which is weird. You're just kind of dying. You know, you're just showing your dead body, and that's it. There we go. And yeah, she can actually step on you. No, oh my god. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's not that hard. They destroyed a mask. Oh yeah, they also get killed. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. And the team would never be the same. It's true, though. It's never going to be those three alone anymore. So yeah, now we have uh, Guru on the team. So now he's gonna show up in the artwork up there. But uh, yeah, Flight of Fancy. One of my favorite chapters of all time. This chapter is amazing. Not only the character, but the gameplay features of this chapter are amazing. I'm definitely gonna have a blast with episode three. You guys are gonna love this chapter. I know I will, but. Yeah, the operation is fun, the missions are fun, like everything is fun about this, and the character interaction, this, one, this one's one of the best chapters of all time, just very, extremely entertaining. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed episode 2, a little bit of a weird chapter, it has some good missions, but at the same time like, the game kind of crashed, and it has some other issues as well, with some missions not being as fun. Some, some were like okay, but like, you know, some missions are, like for example, you have like the operation, you have like a 
the claw and the, uh, what's the other one, the, the lemon bar one. Like, those are fun missions, but then you have missions like Spelunking and Dark Caves are just kind of like, meh. It's like, okay, well, whatever, I'll take it, but... Yeah, I mean, and f a filler chapter, basically. Besides getting the Guru, if, like, you could get the Guru in, in like, this chapter with another member, like, I would take it over Rumble Down Under, the other... Rumble Down Under wasn't just that good. I mean, they had some missions, but that's it. But, yeah, um... Hope you guys have enjoyed. We got the Guru. Now, it's a lot of fancy. In this one, we're gonna get another character. Another great character, by the way. And a bunch of good gameplay changes that I'm gonna love. And, uh, you guys are definitely gonna love, too. But, uh, yeah, um... In part three, we're gonna take care of the hazard room because Murray got some stuff. And then we're gonna do a lot of fancy. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you all later with episode three. Bye-bye.